him right there, left tackle. He is just going to stone Kamale Correa. Now, Correa is a pretty good pass rusher. That is as good as it gets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Now, the addition of Eli Harold just proves one thing to me. A lot of people are confused, like, ah, oh, why? Who is this guy? Well, you got to think about it like this. Now, I'm on the same page as with the coaches if they're thinking about it like this. Now, I believe that we have more talent on the offensive line than we do in some of our rotational defensive pass rushers. Now, what does that mean? That means that they like that, that means that they didn't quite like what they seen out of uh Josh Sweat, which I liked what I saw out of Josh Sweat in number 74. I cannot remember this guy's name for nothing. But Sharif Miller, in my opinion, looked like he had a lot to learn still. He's a rookie that's expected. A lot of people that got a lot of playing time still got a lot to learn about their uh respected positions and where they want to go as far as being NFL players and putting on a uh, midnight green. Now, I want to talk to you guys about Andre Dillard. I firmly believe that Andre Dillard should be starting. Andre Dillard should not be learning from Jason Peters anymore. I think he's learned a lot from Jason Peters, but I also believe that Andre Dillard is in fact ready right now. Now, what does that mean for Jason Peters? That don't mean Jason Peters' career is over as a Philadelphia Eagle. That just means that Jason Peters could be moved to a different position. Jason Peters has the years and he can do it. Now, I don't think you move Jason Peters. I think you move Andre Dillard. I'll tell you why. I think Andre Dillard is just younger and faster for the position of left tackle. And you need youth and you need speed to play left tackle in my position. Now, Andre, Dill Andre Dillard's his, his, his kickback, his back step to get in pass protect position is much faster than uh, Jason Peters. I think that I don't think he's stronger than Jason Peters yet, but I think he got the quicks. And you need quicks because these edge rushers are coming for blood. Now, if you want to be able to build build a, a solid wall around Carson Wentz, this is how I think you do it. I think you go about it by putting Andre, uh, putting Jason Peters in his natural position at left tackle. He's still serviceable there, but you got to move Andre Dillard to the left guard. That entire blind side will be locked up if you do that. The left side. It'll be it'll be locked up for Carson Wentz if you do that. Then you got your center in Kelsey, and then you got Brandon Brooks coming back for his right guard position, and then you got Lane Johnson. I think, in fact, what I saw a lot of um, Andre Dillard, I know it's just preseason, but he was blocking a really good veteran in the NFL and holding that guy to, you know, basically not even be able to sniff the quarterback. I didn't see a lot of wrinkles in Andre Dillard's game. Yeah, you can still learn more. Yeah, he's a rookie. But if you go with that starting five at the um, offensive uh, line positions, I believe Carson Wentz will be able to have a magnificent year. It's all about keeping Carson Wentz fresh. It's not about overstepping Jason Peters or making it seem like that Jason Peters is old and done. That's not the case here. That's not That's not even where we where our mindsets are and where we're thinking about this. We got to do what's best for the team. And I think a move like that is best for the team. Now, now about practice and games and stuff like that. I feel like, you know, the Eagles were at practice right now, today, uh, a few hours ago. I don't know if it ended or not. And I, um, I'm hearing that Zach Ertz had to go into the tent, uh, but he's back out practicing. I feel like if a game was on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I, I feel like Saturday is just, I mean, if a game was on Thursday, why can't we get back to business on Monday? You know, all, all this, all this high tech technology and all all of this just 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 means of science science being able to heal the body no the body just needs natural rest the body needs natural sleep and natural rest for the body to recover from some of these hit on collisions that these athletes go through even though zach Ertz didn't play in the preseason game i feel like the whole team should have been off it should have been like a film study situation you know what i mean you got to be smart on paper and on the field at the same time so i'm kind of baffled as to why you know we practice so much sometimes. I understand guys are trying to make the roster and they got to show what they can show in practice, but I'd rather a guy get hurt in the field than a guy get hurt at practice. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not saying we practicing as much as how Chip Kelly had us practicing, but at the same time, you got to practice. I get it. It's still training camp, I guess, but certain guys shouldn't be getting hurt in practice, man. I think we could tone down the practice in a little bit, man. Um, yeah, and um, also about Hassan Ridgeway. He didn't practice today, but I saw I saw enough out of Hassan Ridgeway in that one game, man. For if, if, you're, if you're fourth, if you're fourth down, if you're fourth, if you're fourth pass rusher on the roster 
and from the interior, the defensive tackle position, if that dude is getting penetration, man, then you got a good you got a good line, man. You got a good line coming into this thing, man. You can't forget about Rennie, Vinnie Curry, who's going to come off the edge. Um, it's a lot to look forward to, man. It's a lot to look forward to, man. But at the end of the day, what I said about the offensive line, I think Josh, I think, I'm sorry, Andre Dillard needs to be starting. Period. If we want to make that leap, he needs to be starting. A lot of people are messaging me saying they're not really high on Miles Sanders. Um, I guess we got to see what Miles Sanders does in game situations. You know what I mean? Because we know what Jordan Howard is going to bring to the table. Jordan Howard can run behind the second unit or first unit. He might not get you much behind the second unit, but he's still going to run with patience and he's still going to try to make it do what it do. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about the offensive line. Should Andre Dillard be starting now? Um, should it be um, Jason Peters, Andre Dillard, Jason Kelsey, um, Brandon Brooks, and Lane Johnson? I think that's the steel curtain, man. I, th I think that is the, the protection, the best protection that Carson Wentz is going to get in his career with those guys, man. Let me know.